Hey everybody, what is up? Glass Cannon, bringing you another review game. Today I'm reviewing Loadout for you, as you can see by the intro, or the front screen here. Got Loadout up here in the top left. Got a big ass dude over here with weaponry. That's actually my dude with my Loadout. And here's the game. It's a third person shooter, so it's over the back camera, like over the shoulder, like here's a War style camera. And that's pretty much all it is, like, there's a couple, there's like five or six different game modes, and uh, I'll talk to you about them in a couple minutes here. First, this is like the intro screen, like when you log in, you get in, this is what's up. They give you a little news up here in the top left, they got like five different different news, news things that come up, I have to tell you different news for the recent, recent bit of time, the last like five updates basically. Uh, you can get starter packs which I'll tell you about in a minute, but this is a free-to-play game, you get it through Steam. So, the bottom right here, you can see the this little gold coin symbol in the bottom right. That's like the, the currency if you want to spend money on the game. But it's not a pay to win, it's uh, all the stuff you buy is pretty much like cosmetic or extra. Like you don't buy weapons or buy um, anything that enhances like your damage or your accuracy or anything like that. It's, it's just like cosmetic. Then you also got uh, pro tips down here, which give you a bunch of different tips about how to do a bunch of different stuff. All right, top right you got your exit game settings. You can mess around with to change the game settings for there's go there is gore, there is nudity, and there is profanity. The game is pretty funny. Uh, the graphics controls, key mod, you know, typical setting stuff. You got your friends list, which yeah, I uh, I don't have any friends on here yet. So <laughs> uh, if anybody plays this game and wants to roll around with me on occasion, that'd be cool. Mon I would Mondays I record some game. I, I record a lot of gameplay. So if anybody wants to play this game with me that has it, get in touch with me. We can put something together because it's four. It's focused on four on four. So if three other people want to join me, bam, I can roll around and rock some people. Then you got the credits. If you view the credits, you actually get an achievement in this game because it's you know Steam. Steam has Steam achievements. You can get an achievement just by watching the credits. You don't even have to watch the whole thing. I clicked on it and then exited it and it gave me the credit for it. So that's cool. So, the top here you got your home button, which is obviously the house. But we're going to start from the right because the left is just how you get into the game. You got the store here. The store is where you spend money. You get space bucks, that's what the coins are called. So you can do everything from, if you get a starter pack, you get 10 bucks, you can get 6,000 space bucks, double XP for a day, double blutes for a day, which is, the blutes are the, the little blue symbol thing right next to the money. That's all the in-game stuff. That's like the, the money you earn in-game to buy your upgrades, research your upgrades, all that stuff. Um, you can buy XP and blute up, up, or boosts for a day, a week, two weeks, 30 days, whatever you want to. Um, loadouts and gun slots, I can get additional slots for doing stuff with. It's basically like custom classes in Call of Duty. That's kind of how it works. I can, you can add more because there's only so many you get for free and there's only so many you up unlock for free. And then you have to, you can purchase more if you want to, but you don't have to at all. Then there's avatars you can purchase, which is just like the picture next to your name. Next up is the tech tree. Tech tree is like it sounds, the research tree. You got everything, the four different chassis, the weapon types, rifle, launcher, pulse, beam, and you got equipment. Has everything, the payload, the barrel, the stock, the scope, trigger, magazine, there's a bunch of different stuff in here you can go with. The locker is like the barracks in Call of Duty. Uh, it shows you all your statistics and your summary, what level you are, basically halfway. I'm right now about like just shy of halfway to level seven. Then it shows you your tech tree progress and your quick stats, which is your kills, assists, score, kill death ratio. I'm doing pretty good right now. I got a 2.0 kill death, but I got a 0.5 win loss. So the teams I've been getting on haven't been the greatest, but I've been doing all right. You got your statistics in in general, or more in depth. That's what I meant. More in depth. How long you spend in weapon crafting, in extraction, death snatch, blitz, jackhammer, domination, annihilation. Those all those game modes what avatar you have selected right now, and how you're doing in ranked. Ranked unlocks when you hit level 10, and then you have to play 12 matches to qualify for a ranking. And that's played on Annihilation and Jackhammer. Annihilation is basically Team Deathmatch, Jackhammer is basically Capture the Flag. 
you got your outfitter, which you can make new outfits or you uh, you customize one of the characters, which is Axel, T-Bone that looks like Mr. T, and Helga who... Yeah, that's Helga. So then you can customize it, and this is where more of the space bucks come in. You can buy a bunch of different stuff, like hockey masks, goatees, different hairstyles, different upper body styles, lower body styles, everything. All that costs space bucks. And, and you can buy taunts, different taunts. But I don't feel like buying any of that stuff yet, so I'm not going to. Alright, then you have your loadouts. The loadout is like the, custom, the classes. So I got two different loadouts right now. I got my one with this gun, which is a rifle, that's a sniper. This one, which is an assault rifle and a hand grenade. And then my second one is a rocket launcher with my assault rifle and a hand grenade. I unlocked the second one when I hit level 5, I think it was. Third one here, you can see it's unlocked at level 20. And then the rest, the other seven, are you, you have to unlock in the store. In your weapon crafting here, you got six slots that you can create for free, and then you have to unlock the other 9, 10, 11, 12, 21. The other 21 slots in the store, if you want to. I mean, personally, I think six slots is plenty, because you can throw this stuff around. But this is a lot of the gameplay, is like crafting a weapon and doing with it. So I'm gonna show you how to like do weapon crafting. When you click on a weapon in the left here, it gives you stats, experience with each portion of the weapon, and then stats. That's not like your stats with the weapons, that's the weapons itself stats, like how much damage it does, rate of fire, reload time, all that stuff. And you can see they're a little different from each of the weapon that I have currently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the weapon that we want, and going down here towards the bottom right, you see customize, you're gonna click on that. That brings you into the actual crafting. And up here you got, this is the four different chassis. There's rifle, which has the stock, scope, barrel, trigger, magazine, and payload that you can all customize for different things. And when you go to, when you go to change it, you can see, like, you got, I'm selecting rifle here, my stock. When I go to change from the standard to dampening or to aluminum, you can see the bottom left here, it shows the stats. And you can see red means it's going down, green means it's going up. Now, unfortunately, none of these st uh, stocks make anything go up in stats. So I don't want to really mess with any of that right now, personally. Scope is the same thing. You can see if I wanted to get optical zoom, it would make my aim accuracy go up a little bit. And long range scope would make it go up a little bit too. Everything else makes it go either down or stay the same. You got barrel, trigger, magazine, everything changes some portion of the stats. And then you got launcher, which has different things. It's got stock, scope, barrel, and trigger, no magazine. And then it's also got the payload, propulsion, shell, detonator, and dispersal. Pulse has everything the rifle does, but then it also adds in dynamics. And beam has everything except for cooling instead of magazine. That's the only thing different between it and a rifle. And then I'm going to go back to uh, changing that back to my. Well, I'm going to just hit back because I don't want to. Yeah, I'm going to. Yes, I want to leave without saving any changes. Get my weapon back. When you're in here, after you make some changes to the weapon, uh, like. I'll change this to a pulse and magazine to shell loading or no high capacity there we go down here in the bottom right it shows you blutes required 920 available blutes is how much I have so if I hit save it would tell me that this is how much it would cost me to do do you want to do it but I don't know if I want to do it so I'm gonna hit this test button and watch what happens you get thrown into this little area it's basically it's your weapon testing. You can targets pop up. There you go. There we go. These people show up. One dude runs. These four just dance around, and this one runs around. And then you just they don't do anything but stand there, and it's just a, a way to test your your weapon damage and what like your weapon does. And this will give you also a chance to to uh, this is like what you see. This is your gameplay right here. Okay, you can see it's third person like over the shoulder. You can zoom in. Uh, the top left, you have your ammo count. Ammo is unlimited. So, 
It's just, that's my magazines. It's 51 out of 100. I have 100 rounds maximum. You reload. That's your little reload symbol. You're back up to 100. That's all it is. Your ammo is unlimited. You got your health bar under that, which if you get hurt, these things are sitting around the maps. You can walk over, and I'm not hurt right now, so if you would walk over, you can grab one. That's it. So health, you have a way to heal because it doesn't regenerate automatically. And then these are the equipment boxes. So if I was to throw a grenade, I'd pick another one up. And then, boom, you also heal. And that's what healing does. Okay? Right underneath the health on the top left here, you can see the two red symbol, the two red grenades. That means you have two grenades. Once you throw those two, you gotta get a new one. Or I gotta pick one of these up and you get both of them back. Top right's your mini map. And the bottom shows you, that's your experience. So each, um, that like six is the left, seven is the right, top, the bottom right, I mean. That's like until I level up. So I'm like over, like I said, I'm almost halfway to level seven. And then once you're done with this, you go back into weapon crafting and you can choose to save the settings because you like the gun or tweak some stuff. I'm going back because I don't want to change my rifle. Uh, I named it cannon fodder after my buddy because I didn't feel like naming anything else. Then random, Bobby Brown's random, and then boomstick because it's a rocket launcher. Now the game modes, there's six different game modes. When you choose fight, you can choose, well, first you choose fight, you choose casual, or ranked if you're level 10. Custom game is coming soon. You can either co-op versus bots, which picks you and three people against just a team of four bots, or you can play against people. And if you want to, you can create a party, but I don't want to create a party. I am... What's going on? I'm not in a region right now. There we go. That's better. I wasn't in a region for a second, so I had to back out. If you have people in mind, you can create a party, and then you add party members from friends list. Nobody's online right now, so I'm leaving the party. I'm going to choose versus humans. I'm going to show you some gameplay. Now, like I said, Annihilation, that's only in ranked as far as I know. Then there's Jackhammer, which is like I'm going to be playing right now. Is uh, This is a live commentary, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. Um, Jackhammer's captured a flag. And then there's Blitz, which is basically a random spot will show up on the map that you have to go to and capture before the other team does. It's like captured a flag, but or not captured a flag, uh, like hat. king of the hill basically. Because one spot will show up and you gotta get there before the other team and then you gotta kill them from the area so that you can get the team points. That's how, that's how that works. Your team has and then... The opposing team's hammer has been returned. Dang it. Oh, I killed him. Okay. Then there's... Oh, what's the other one? Collector? Uh, I think it's Collector. I'll have to look after this match is over. But then, I know there's... Domination, which is exactly like Call of Duty Domination. There's three points. You gotta capture them. And you get points based on how many you have. That's Domination. Then there's... Um, co not collection. Yeah, I think it's collection. Is the one that it's like kill confirmed on Call of Duty. You kill somebody, they drop a little container of blutes, which is a little blue tube, and that's you get points for it. And then you deny kills also because it's the same thing. If you deny, you can pick up a, a friendly one to deny them. So it's exactly like kill confirmed from Call of Duty. Um, also, when you're playing, if the team, like you can see here, if the team doesn't have a full roster of people, one of the people will be uh, a bot. Like right now, the horse van Vaughn Ninth is a bot, but there's three other players. So it's always four on four. It's just a matter of the combination of people, people and bots. Oh boy. The opposing team's hammer has been returned. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Your hammer has been returned. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Oh, he got me. Your team has dropped the hammer. The opposing team's hammer. A lot of this game, you can you can roll around, you can jump. 
that's and you can sprint and you can melee but the you, <laughs> you don't want to be standing still for too long because you can get like you don't want to be standing still shooting at somebody like you're gonna get rocked pretty hard so a lot of this game is diving around because you can shoot while diving you can shoot while running And when you kill somebody, you can pick up their weapon, which, it, this one's a bitch slapper. <laughs> That's what that person named it. Oh, there's a turret. Your team has taken the yeah, turrets are a thing, too. Come on. There we go. Oh, hi there. Come back here. You can re-roll, re, uh, re-rolled, reload while rolling. Oh, I need that health. There you go. A smart thing to do when you're playing this is if you can't beat somebody, get out of there. <laughs> like, you want to, that's how you keep a, that's how I have a, a decent kill death right now is because if I'm not going to win a fight, I run away. Because, no, I don't think this guy's playing. Oh, he was doing something. I think he was messing around with menu options. Kind of sucks, but I'm sorry. Oh, this guy's a bot. I think they have two bots now. The enemy has dropped the hammer. Oh, I missed. Has been returned. Come back the here. Enemy has stolen the hammer. Oh, turret. The enemy has your hammer has been returned. I'm gonna die. I can't get away in time. Oh, saved by the wind. <laughs> I was gonna die. Look at me, I'm charred to a crisp. <laughs> I went 8 and 1, so that was a good match. Uh, Should have been 8 and 2. Ended up being two guys on two bots. Or two guys and two bots on their team. Apparently I think somebody joined and then left right away for the fourth bot because it changed the names. Also, you get a daily prize for winning. Uh, I think it, it's usually always blutes, yeah. I got 350, so that's cool. But this, after you win, or after the match, it gives you a little screen of summary, obviously. How much stuff you get, what all XP you got. Alright, here's the game modes. You got Blitz, which I told you about. You rent to the point, you, you raise the boxers. Because it's a boxers instead of a flag. Um, Domination, Jackhammer. Annihilation's only in ranked as far as I can know. Uh, extraction is I've never played before, so I I'm not sure exactly, but it's it says collect plutonium if you're the collector. Otherwise, you kill enemy collectors. Uh, death snatch is the one that's like kill confirmed. So apparently, I'm going to show you also show you a match of domination real quick. So the first match was jackhammer, which is one of the ranked game modes. You either rank in um, one or the other. Sometimes when you start a match, this happens. You start in a cluster. Like Blitz, I think, does it. Um, uh, Blitz does it. Domination does it. I'm not sure what else does it. Oh, no, I can't. I couldn't get him. Blitz does it. Domination does it. Uh, Jackhammer doesn't because you have your own team sides, like, to start. Um, Extraction, I don't know, I haven't played it. And Death Snatch does it also. So I think, I'm guessing Annihilation does it too. Because in, instead of spawning on certain sides, like each person, or each team, I mean, it just... There we go. Instead of spawning on him, because there's no sides, it just says everybody starting up in, <laughs> in the middle and fight to begin right away. Uh, right now it's two on two. We got each got two bots, so that's not bad. Control point B is captured. Oh, I thought that guy was an enemy. All right, so we got B. We're going at C. All right, they're at B. Let's see if that does anything. Got somebody. The other thing that sucks about bots is they don't run away. Like, they're not smart. 
smart enough to run away when they're outnumbered. So if you roll in and you're beating the crap out of a bot, they're not going to run away from you. Where's this guy? Control point C, lost. Control point A, lost. Like this bot. I don't even know what this bot's doing. Control point C is captured. I think they're just running to the points. Like, I don't think they care about... No, there's a person right here. The minimap, if you, like, you can tell there's green dots for enemies, red dots for... Or, green dots for allies, red dots for enemies. Uh, they... They only show up when they move. So if you stay still, like, you're not gonna show up. Which is cool. I think I got that guy, though. Yeah, I did. Um... Gotta go this way. Hopefully that gets that guy. Yep. There we go. Come on. Get this guy too. That the bots are really stupid. Unfortunately. But they will kill you. Like that guy got me, but they don't they don't dodge nearly as much as they should. Lost. Control point. <laughs> They'll just stay there and slug it out with you, even if they're like clearly losing. Whoa. That guy isn't much of a dodger, apparently. Oh, you can shoot rockets out of the sky, too. Forgot about that. Oh, I need health. Oh, I'm gonna die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. The cool thing about the health is it full heals you. Oh, you put another turret up. Control point B is captured. Control point C lost. Yes, got him. There we go. Let's get A back. Still, still two on two. Game's pretty close though. Yeah, so are we. Alright, we're getting C. Means they're gonna be over here. Oh, I missed right over his shoulder. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, hit him. Alright, let's throw a grenade. Oh, I don't have any grenades left. Yep. Alright, I gotta back out. Thought I had another grenade. I don't know how... Oh, hey, you're, you're a healer, right? Oh, he's running away. Oh, no, he's not. Oh! He's following me. Give me this health. Oh, he did the same thing. I don't have any freaking grenades. Ah, bad time to not have grenades. I think I get that guy, though. Ah, frickin' eh. Nine and four, I'm doing good. Not as good as that guy on the other team though, he's doing ten and two. Alright, come on guys. You can't lose this game. There we go. Who's this guy? Oh, you murdered the hell out of him. Good. They're taking B. Control point B. Lost. That was a bad grenade. We got a healer in there. There we go. Come on, guys. Oh, he's got a shield. That's one of the equipment thing is a personal shield that lasts for like so much damage. There we go, we just broke it. 
Control point B is captured. Get back out for a second. Oh, he got help. I don't have any grenades still. Again, I mean. Got that guy again. Control point A is captured. Oh, he's gonna come after me. I need to heal. I don't know where heal is though. Ah! I couldn't get away. Twelve and five. Is captured. Still good. Somebody over here. All right, we're gonna lose. They're only 35 points away from victory. Yep, there it is. Well, guys, that's all I'm gonna show you about this today. Two matches, real quick. Showed you Jackhammer and Domination, so you got a little bit of gameplay taste in there. Uh, that's about the gist of the game. <laughs> so, 12 and 5, 2.4, pretty good. Another guy on my team with the same thing. Um, you guys. Like the video if you liked it, comment down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, share the video. I'm going to bring you some updates tomorrow about some things I've been talking about, and uh, I'll let you know about that tomorrow. You guys, in the meantime, have a fantastic day. Peace out.